everybody, welcome back. This is uh, part 8 of our little accordion keepsake journal. And as you can see, uh, in the last one I was talking about possibly adding a little bulb pin and a charm, and I did do that. Um, I will have a final flip through of this at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. So today we are on the final two panels which are on the back side, um, this one and over here. And for the, to keep this, um, you know, fairly short, I've went ahead and prepped a few things because I knew what I wanted to add. I'm going to start with this panel here just because it's going to be a little bit easier uh, to do and, and then I'll show you on the next one. So here I'm just going to do two pockets with a couple of tags in them. And it's just, all I'm doing is taking the coordinating paper, this one, I had cut it at three inches by two and a half, so let me just grab my punch here. Um, and then I just scored that, you know, to make the little flap. That way it will be giving a little bit of room to add some things to. And then I just want to take those corners off just to remove some of that bulk. And this little, I thought two pockets. Um, this one is three inches by one and three quarter and again I'm just going to take off the bulk of that and we'll get these um, glued down. Let me go ahead and take these notches out here. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Since they're just a square pocket I think it looks a little bit nicer to do this. just remember this punch here is a little bit um, dull. I need to sharpen it so I'm going to use this other one so I'm going to be taking less off because this is a, a larger uh, that one is as well. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm just going to have to cut this out. The other thing I found with these punches, they don't work very well on a on a single sheet. So I should have. Let me try if I double this up. Maybe it'll work a little bit better. Yep. Yeah, that did. That did okay. So, all right, let's just get these down. And then I've got one of the tags I've got covered. And it's just one of those tags that you get from Walmart because I didn't have any dies. And I wanted some different, you know, you can make the small tags without a die. But I wanted some of these that had the little scalloped tops to them. So this is just one of those from Walmart. And then I've covered with the coordinating paper. And then I thought we'd just make something really simple for this the this larger pocket. I'll just make a little tag quickly. Oh, 
Okay, so this is the tag I was going to put in here, and then we need to make something, and I need to get a little bit of lace here real quick. Okay, so I have just added a little bit of this, um, it's like a baker's twine, I picked this up at the Dollar, Dollar Tree a few weeks ago, and I've never seen this these large ones like this before but it was a really good Dollar Tree store they had a lot a much nicer craft area so anyways I've just added that um, to this one and then I thought it would be nice to do a little tag for the large pocket in the back and it'll give a little bit more writing space so just taking some cardstock at two inches by three Get my stick here and I'm just going to cover that with some tissue paper. This is just that pattern. Sorry, it's the sewing pattern. I should have said that. I really like to use this. Um, it tones everything down really nice when you've got the white cardstock. And I'm just going to go over that with another piece of that because some of that tore off. That's Daisy getting her morning drink. It's very early here and uh, I'm trying to get this video done before we have to start, uh, we're packing up today <clears throat> so that we got a lot to do and our upload here is taking forever. I started a video last night before I went to bed and when I woke up it was at 27% so I'm um, not thinking uh, that I'm going to get everything done that I need to before we're away from <laughs> Wi-Fi, but to be honest, it's pretty non-existent anyways. Okay, so let me find... I usually keep a tag handy just to use as a template, but I can't see it. So what I do is I'll just kind of fold this over. That way you get them completely even. And then don't worry about it. I mean, it'll, it'll crease a little bit, but I don't stress over stuff like that, so... And then I'm just going to distress the back just a little bit because some of this might show from the other side. And these are nice places that I can add um, quotes, favorite quotes down the line is what I'm thinking. So um, here's some stays on. This is a new stamp I just picked up. I'm really happy with this. I found this at the uh, thrift store this weekend in a bin and I took it up and she said 25 cents so isn't that a pretty stamp I thought it was a stampin up but I'm not seeing unless she didn't put the label whoever but it really looks like a stampin up stamp so 
but I don't recognize this this one, so I don't know um, if it is or not. But I am just going to stamp that image there. And let me just give this a little clean real quick, guys. I don't like to leave that um, this ink on my stamps. Okay. Alright, so we've got this one. I like how that came out. And it'll give me, like I said, another little place I can add something. And I did think that that might show, um, which is, you know, that's why I wanted to make sure all of that really white is covered. Alright, so, you know, I'll probably add some lace to that, but I'm not going to bother with it this morning, guys, because I've got most of my crafting stuff packed already. Um, so, I just really wanted to get on here and finish the series and have this scheduled for you guys, because I don't know how my internet's going to be for the next um, month as we travel back home, so... So yeah, obviously I'll add some kind of fiber to that. Um, I don't know that I'll put a hole in it. I think sometimes it'd be nice just to have some different laces and then I'll do a stitch. But again, my sewing machine, and see this is the other thing I'm contending with right now. Ants. We've got ants in the RV and we've been fighting those for a couple of weeks. So now... Um, I'm going to have to take everything out and deal with those before we hit the road. <laughs> uh, I really shouldn't be crafting right now. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to get this series done, guys, because this is the last part. Um, okay, so this, on to the next panel. Um, I thought it would be really nice to have a little booklet. Let me close that so that doesn't distract you. Um, I want a little booklet and I originally thought it'd be just nice to have um, the coordinating paper just open up be tied so I could have private writing and then I thought well actually you know what I'm just gonna make a tiny booklet and so you I'll end up with four pages and then I thought, well, I really don't want that white showing, so this is why I just cut some book page. So it's a really simple idea, but I think it's going to be a, a cute little addition because it almost turns it into a journal. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm going with this now. I will have to stitch the little signature in. Um, which I hadn't thought through because if it if if I was at home or had my sewing machine out because it's only a couple of pages I would just do a straight stitch down the um, spine. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, and apologies for the noise. Paul's going to be going in and out this morning. He's got to get our stuff packed. So this is what I'm talking about. That's where the fold is. If you're only dealing with a couple of sheets, you can run this through your machine um, because it's just a little booklet and I, I think that's much easier than trying to do the, um, the three stitch, the three hole um, pamphlet stitch, but I'm going to have to do that because I, my sewing machine's packed away. So anyways, back to this. Let's just get this glued down. I want to make sure this is really glued well. And and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do the stitch this. So I think I'll actually do that off camera, guys. And I apologize for that, but it's so fiddly to try to to sew in a signature on camera. Um, now this is just the inside cover, and we're gonna put a couple of pockets. 
but I do want to round these corners before we do anything else and I think this is also going to be pretty to just add some of my favorite stamped images and and make a little note or something I don't know that's really where I'm thinking with this but yeah I kinda wanna I'm gonna round all of these I think it just finishes it off a little bit nicer. Do you guys have this We Are Memory Keeper corner rounder? If you do, what do you think about it? Um, I've had this now for a cup. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's Daisy. She's starting about today, and oh my gosh, she's just spilt my coffee. Just two seconds. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. That's what life in the RV is actually like. She gets in a huff, right? And she'll start flipping her bed, which is massive. <laughs> Her bed is for like a Labrador. And so she starts flipping the bed around because she's angry about being confined. And sure enough, she always gets tangled up in my sewing machine or one of my lights. And I tell you, every time I've got the sewing machine out, I'm just certain that she's going to have that sewing machine on her head one day. <laughs> but there you go. So the, yeah, I've just had to to catch that coffee before it ran to my computer. Wouldn't that be a nightmare? Ah, oh my gosh, that's just, just about what I need. <laughs> mm. So at any rate, back to our project. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what I was saying is I'm not that I'm not that impressed, guys, uh, with that. And when I can upgrade, I'm definitely going to try to get a, a better corner rounder. I think I needed the the big chomper one um, but again it's all room um, and I don't even know I'm trying to think I know what I used to use before it was my envelope board I used to use that to round my corners and I gotta say that thing really worked well but it's um, it's in the UK in storage so all I'm going to do is just ink the inside of this because I'm going to come back and add a couple little pockets. I just think it'll finish it off nicely. Alright, so there we go. We got our little booklet and I am now going to stitch this. <laughs> you hear her? Oh, she's not happy. Alright, let me stitch this and then what I thought we would do is I'm going to add some of the twine behind. I'm just going to cut. I'll probably end up cutting more than I need, but I'd rather do that than end up short. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to glue this and have it so that it will... See? she's There she goes. She's, she's in a huff this morning. Um, and I'm going to have it so that this will tie over here and you can see it. And and then when you open it up, there will be two, a little pocket here you can add something. And then I thought, as I said, it'll be like a little tiny journal that I can add some stencils and so on. Okay, guys. Wow. All right. So that's my little booklet complete. That's the center of the signature. And now let's just get this bit of glue And now I'll just take this back cover 
and cover that in glue. I mean, I could have made that a hidden pocket behind there as well, so think about that. You could just glue three sides and make that a hidden pocket or a hidden pocket from here, but bear in mind, whatever you shove down in there is going to catch on that, um, on your thread there. And that can be a bit of a pain sometimes when you're trying to get a, a tag in and out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still oh, still shaking over the coffee thing. Oh. Okay, let's get on here. Get on, get on, get on. Yeah, this has ended up being a much bigger project than I thought. And isn't it funny? Because, you know, I don't think I've ever had a series run into eight parts. It's really surprised me um, that such a tiny project could end up being so extensive. Um, I, I just had no idea that it would run this long, but um, I'm going to save those so I can use those later. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, you could take this another step further, and I might very well down the line. If I do any changes that I make to this, I'm going to probably just do a, a little video to show you guys. Because I'm almost thinking this lends itself to even another layer um, to where this is covered and it'll just be you know like we do on our journal covers right but I just I just don't have time this morning guys um, and over here I mean this is very plain but I'm gonna come back and I can already see this needs some things but you know like I said to you this is what I love about it I can now come back and add some embellishments. And particularly, I'm so restricted here, what I don't want to do is end up just using the same thing over and over. So I kind of like the idea of leaving it here. This is like a base, right? And I can come back when I get all of my supplies back. I've got die cuts that are going to be so sweet to add here with more lace, maybe some buttons or maybe maybe other embellishments that I've got in my stash that I've forgotten about. Um, I just don't want to keep repeating and that's my, my worry if I were to carry on today is I'm going to end up having to use um, some of the same things that I've got on the other things and I want each one of these to be very different. So it's great because it leaves me this, this, this. I'm very happy with that, but you never know. I might find just a, a fantastic button or something that I might want to add there. I just think, as like I said, it's it's a little keepsake thing. And if down the road I say, for example, I'm not I'm not that happy with this page. I can nothing stopping me from coming back and changing it. I know already I'm going to add some stencil to that, but when I get my little tiny, tiny Tim Holtz um, paper clips, I just don't. I don't want to order any more things. I think that's going to lend itself to a little paper click, and then I'm thinking, well, okay, if I'm going to do that, maybe instead of the flap being embellished as it is now I'll embellish the tiny paper clip which will be a challenge in itself and that will kind of hold that down because I'm not happy about that being flappy so that's one two three four that I know on that side over here I'm actually very happy with these I can't see changing any any of these if I'm honest I'm I'm delighted with how these came out but let's just go through let me show you from the start. The final flip through. I see how that's looking. Each side has got something hanging out, which I love. I don't like things to be um, too precise, and yet in the past that seems to be how um, mine have ended up working out, and I'm really 
trying, trying, trying to get away from that. And I do think the time away and doing other things has kind of helped me to move away from that. Or at least I'm hoping it has. Um, you can tell me in the comments below if you think that you can see a difference in, um, in how I'm creating now, maybe. Um, it's, you know, it's inevitable, isn't it, that you're going to... Um, your style is going to evolve, I think, with time. So I love the front. I'm s I am can't imagine doing anything different on that. I just love it. I love the use your wings. I think with the butterfly, it's just perfect. I love this page, Just Breathe. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. I like this page. I'm very happy with the different textures, um, the textiles, I mean. And um, every day is a fresh start. I mean, that's just a beautiful saying. I like the stitching. The stitching really seems to stand out on this brown, which is, I love that. And then this page, remember we made our little tiny little journal. That, and then this was a vellum that I stamped on, added some more of this old isn't this lace just gorgeous and this is another thing um, I like projects like this because you know it's a business and I'll often I will end up I'll have beautiful vintage laces and I can't really afford to keep them for myself I have to use them and how nice to be able to just say oh I got I can I can keep just a little snippet for me to remember um, because I remember exactly where I bought this, what I paid for it, and I, I like that. I like to be able to go back and at least have some little snippet of, of the things that I've found. And look at this. I didn't even think about this, but as that's, um, this is our window page. I think it was, was our first page that we did in here. Look at how the paper from behind is showing through, and I didn't even think about that. I was thinking in terms of, oh, it laying down. But that's great, because that's showing through, so it gives even more interest to that. And then over here, um, we created this little tag within this pocket. And then here, we did a little cluster with some stamped fabric and some lace and some buttons and again I'm so happy now I've got little um, mementos of these pieces that I collected those came from a collection I picked up in Cortez Colorado a fantastic thrift store there if you're ever through Cortez there's a little Methodist um, thrift store Oh my goodness, I mean, um, it's a small one, very small, but wow, they get some really, really nice things in there, and they're so reasonable. And so this is the back, and then again, over here, we flip it over, we've got this place, this little flap, another journal card, and our secret garden. I think this was the second, or maybe, yeah, I think this was the second Part. Um, and if you are just tuning in for the first time, I've got a playlist that will take you step by step through this project. So this is our little garden gate. And when you open up, oh, you've got the flowers and the bees are busy and you've got a little ticket. I don't know how a ticket would end up in a garden, but, you know, in our world it does. And I just, I love that. And that was one of those crazy brads I ordered that looks like it really should have went on a sofa from the 60s or something. <laughs> it's massive. I mean, look at that. Really? That's a brad for crafting? But I made it work. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyways. So this is our little secret hidden garden. And over to this page. And this is where, you know, yes, I need to do more embellishing, obviously. 
but I just wanted to show you guys what the base is going to be so you can carry on with that. And again here, <clears throat> when I get back and I can find some different shaped leaves, I think it'll be a real compliment to do more leaves on this side, but I just wanted different shaped ones to complete that. This one I'm very happy with because the <clears throat> focal point of this is my um, slow stitching with the French knots, and I believe that was the feather stitch. I feel like it could do with it, maybe some buttons um, sprinkled here and there, but I don't know because it could take away from that because that's such a delicate um, piece there. So I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. If I'll do anything, mm, we'll see. If I come along with something in, our st in my stash or along my travels that, that would complement it, I'll be fine with that. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it as is. And then this is our other little journal. And then back to the cover. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this series. I appreciate all of you so much. I hope that you have a good uh, rest of your week. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.